President Trump signs an executive order that he says will hold China accountable for its actions in Hong Kong. Hong Kong will now be treated the same as mainland China. No special privileges, no special economic treatment, and no export of sensitive technologies. The UK also strikes a blow on Beijing, ordering tech firm and the Chinese company Huawei to be stripped from its telecoms network. Tears from Ghislaine Maxwell as the former girlfriend of Jeffrey Epstein is refused bail. She will go on trial next July, charged with trafficking minors. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So nice to it meet you. It is so nice to meet you. I can't believe it. Plus a truly unique reunion. An Auschwitz survivor meets the family of the American soldier who saved her life. The Trump administration has reversed course on a plan to bar international students from American universities who were set to take classes exclusively online. Harvard and MIT had sued the administration over the proposal, saying it would hurt their access to an education. International students also provide much-needed tuition fees for U.S. schools. The US government has carried out the first federal execution in almost two decades, putting to death a man who killed an Arkansas family in the 1990s. Daniel Lewis Lee died by lethal injection at a federal prison in Indiana. Relatives of those killed by Lee had campaigned against his execution. French President Emmanuel Macron led a scaled-down Bastille Day celebration in Paris. Instead of the usual military parade, he joined dignitaries in applauding health workers who played key roles in the pandemic. More than a thousand were invited alongside relatives of those who died fighting the disease. And money really does grow on trees. The American town using its own wooden currency to stimulate spending after lockdown. Uh, the Daily Mail is leading on Ghislaine Maxwell, who's been accused of grooming girls for her former partner, Jeffrey Epstein, a convicted sex offender. The paper speaks of Ghislaine's tears, as she was told she must stay in jail ahead of her trial in July 2021 after being denied bail. And one of the most read stories on the BBC website is about the Glee actress, Naya Rivera, who officials have confirmed died of accidental drowning after she went missing during a boat trip with her son. That was in California last Wednesday. Still lots of people interested in that story today.